Uh, my name is Mark Bjerg. I did the gene testing in 2001 because my my mom had it and so I've known for, for a long time. My name is Amy Cheshire and I'm a licensed clinical social worker and clinical researcher at the University of Rochester. I first started seeing patients with Huntington's uh, almost 30 years ago. The primary motor symptom is chorea. So chorea is an involuntary movement. They can be small movements or they can be very large and dance-like. Cognitive changes, um, which tend to be in some ways the most challenging for the disease, um, they're very uh, different because there are areas that are quite um, spared in Huntington's disease, for example, comprehension. The area that is affected is more around uh, insight sometimes into disease and impact of symptoms, impulse control, uh, really having good judgment. Uh, it's tough to be a good planner. If you have Huntington's disease, it's hard to really think ahead. You tend to live really in the moment. It's pretty common um, to have depression. We know that depression can actually predate physical symptoms by as much as 10 years sometimes. Um, another kind of roommate to depression is often anxiety. The symptoms of Huntington's are caused by the death of neurons in the striatum, a region of the brain involved in cognition, motor function, self-control, and learning. Although the exact mechanism of cell death is not known, there is general consensus that a mutated form of the Huntington protein plays a key role. We all have the Huntington protein, but unaffected individuals have fewer than 26 repeats of a CAG sequence that codes for the amino acid glutamine near the end terminus of the protein. Those with Huntington's have 40 or more repeats, which causes changes in secondary and tertiary structure. Because of glutamine's polar side chain, these mutant proteins form hydrogen bonds with each other and aggregate into large bundles, preventing proper protein folding. The cell brings in proteases to digest the mutant proteins into small fragments. Unfortunately, these fragments can then access the nucleus and disrupt the cell's core functions, like RNA transcription. The mutant protein can also contain changes to the nuclear export sequence, a four amino acid sequence at the end terminus that allows Huntington to leave the nucleus. Without it, the disruptive effects of the protein are compounded. The mutant protein might also cause cell death through excitotoxicity, an overabundance of excitatory neurotransmitters such as glutamate, coupled with a decreased ability to metabolize energy because of damage to the mitochondria. With such wide-ranging disruption, the biological effects of the mutated protein are significant and life-altering. Everyone with HD has their own journey. Um, everyone's impacted in different ways. It's like some days are really, really good and some are not, so. Uh, he stayed in the workforce for um, a number of years um, and he, that was really important to him. I worked at the same place for 30 years and after I, I quit him, uh, that, that was a, probably the lowest point. So he's on our newest medication uh, to help with the motor symptoms um, and is having a lot of success with that. Before that, I, some days I wouldn't even get out of bed. Uh, and, and what it's, it, it, it's, it let me lead a normal life. It feels like I'm like getting Christmas. I, I feel like I'm, um, Gonna be, I'm gonna beat this thing. I think a lot of it's attitude for Mark. Um, how you perceive the illness does a, says a whole lot about how you manage life with it. Um, and Mark has really um, always really done a great job with that. I stopped biking for a couple years, and then when I got the new medication, I, I, my balance was much better. Uh, I do go to Y every day uh, and exercise, and that has helped me tremendously. I think 2018 is going to be um, a really pivotal year for Huntington's disease. Get involved with research, and got it. You're going to beat it.
Dr. George Huntington called it the worst disease known to mankind back in the 1880s. Um, I, I think some of that is still kind of true, um, but I think we, the perseverance of uh, Huntington's families is, uh, is constantly humbling work.